Hello students and welcome to this video for Word Chapter 4 hands-on exercise number 2. We're going to be on page 360 in your textbook, 360. And we were working on specifically using citations last time, so making sure that um, as we're typing papers, working on research papers or whatever um, specific projects you're working on that needs um, citation of other sources, we're acknowledging the work of others and we're also using a specific writing format. So last time we were using MLA, it might be you go to a college that uses a different one. Um, so you have Turabian, other ones like that. Today we're going to be working more on document tracking. So document tracking, and this is more the idea of you're using a review um, here on the file. So um, page 360, I'm going to read it while you're turning there. Number two, document tracking. Your literature group submitted a draft copy of the analysis of a white heron. Your literature instructor, Mr. Smith, made comments and suggested some additional editing before the paper is considered complete. Even at this early stage, however, your instructor is very pleased with your group's initial analysis. In fact, he suggested that you prepare to submit the paper to the campus Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society for judging in a writing contest. He will provide a copy of the entry form in PDF format so that you can have it on hand when you submit the paper. At this point, you will review his comments and changes and act on his suggestion. So step number one of page 360 here, we're going to use markup and add, view, and reply to comments. And you can see the comment bubbles over here um, that we haven't really worked with up until this point. So your instructor returned an electronic copy with a few comments and edits. You'll review these suggestions, make a few changes, and save the document for final review and group collaboration later. So step A, it says open up Word Chapter 4, Hands-On Exercise 2, White Heron. So I have that open already, and we're saving it with our last underscore, um, last name and first name. So I'm going to choose File, Save As, and then I'm going to make sure I have the right folder selected. So I click on Browse, and then I'm going to documents for it, you're going to go to your flash drive, and of course, underscore last name, first name. So I have it with that. I save that. I now have the new name up here at the top, and that's step A. Step B, click the review tab, and it says click the simple markup arrow in the tracking group. So this is the tracking group, this is the simple markup arrow right here, and it says and then click All Markup. So right now it's simple, we're choosing All Markup. Review the comments made by your instructor as well as the tracked edits in the document. So this is looking at here, he says, excellent job, I have very few suggestions, but have made a few modifications, revise as you see fit. And then you can see down here, could you elaborate on why she realizes that she cannot give the bird's location away? And then you need a citation for this right here. And so the instructor just went through and made some basic comments um, that we can see visible to us. Okay, so it has there um, those. And then after we looked at those, it says click the all markup arrow. So you notice it's all markup. I'm clicking the arrow next to it. And it says click simple markup to return to what we had before. So you notice it um, doesn't show the specific words that were highlighted with the comments. Um, I can hover over the com comment bubble and it will show it, but otherwise I had to do it. So this is just, you can make it less cluttered, so to speak, with that view. Step C, click the reviewing pane arrow in the tracking group. So reviewing pane, and click reviewing pane vertical. Reviewing pane vertical. Scroll through the comments and edits shown in the reviewing pane, and then close the reviewing pane. So um, basically, you're just looking through it here. Um, there's all the different comments. So some of the things um, were deleted, some of them were inserted, all those um, things right there. So I can exit out of that, um, but it's another way you can view comments and look at them. All right, step D, click the vertical red bar on the left side of the first body paragraph to view all edits and comments to do, be displayed in. So right here I can click on it and it will show it to me. So it was red, now it turned gray. So you can do that. And notice it changes to all markup view. And then it says click the bar again to hide the tracked changes. 
and return to it. So it's showing us the multiple ways we can view our comments. Point to the first comment balloon on the right. So I'm pointing to it of the report title. And note that the highlighted text, see comments. So highlighted text, see comments. Click the comment balloon to view the comment. Now this one, it already is showing me the comment. So for some reason, um, you're moving over here and you have to, it says see comments, click on it and it'll show it. All right, and you can click the comment balloon to view the comment and you can also click it again to close it. So my version, I can automatically see it. Um, if yours, if you cannot see it, you do need to click on it. All right, step E, click the third comment balloon on the first page. So it's this one right here, third comment balloon. And note that you need to add a citation. Click the close in the markup balloon to close it. Click after the quotation mark. So for me, I'm not closing it because it stays open, by the way. Um, but if you need to, you might. If you need to close it, go ahead. Click after the quotation mark and before the period in the last or in the sentence in the last paragraph on the first page, ending with for the course of action. So it says here between, or excuse me, after the quotation mark and before the period in the last sentence of the paragraph, or in the sentence in the last paragraph right here. Now we're gonna add a new, so, uh, new source for the following book. So we're adding a source here like we were doing yesterday. So instead of the review tab, we are going to references and then we're going to insert a new source. So I can click on um, bibliography right here. Or excuse me, not bibliography. Um, it would be, you could either do manage sources like this and click new. Um, otherwise, I believe the other option that we had available to us was insert citation and then add new source. So I'm gonna go with insert citation, add new source. You have multiple ones you can do. Um, it says here the type of source is a book section. So you notice there's book and then book section. So make sure you choose book section. And then you're typing in the information that's provided. You won't always be given all of the information with the citation. So I have prop, comma, Vladimir, the title, morphology of a folk tale. Then I go down to year 1994. City, New York. And then publisher is Aniston. Then it says scroll to the end of the document and click to, so actually I need to first, I put my source there. click OK. Now if you chose insert citation, it automatically put it in there. So you may need to go, if you did manage sources that way or the other way, um, then you have to do it again. But click insert citation and it'll put it in there like this so we can see it's there. Then it says after you've done that, you've put in that citation, it says click, uh, scroll to the end of the document. So I'm going to hold down control and push end to go to the end of the document. Oh, not researcher, that's not what I need. So click in here. Control end. I go to the end of the document. And then it says, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to select the works cited field. So I click in here and I select the works cited field and click update citations and bibliography. So right up here. So click on that, it's gonna update it for me. So now I have that new one added. Then it says scroll to page one. So I'm gonna go back up to page one. Excuse me, this is step G. So I'm scrolling up to page one here, step G, and click the second comment balloon. So second comment balloon right here, I click on it to view the comment. So I already can view it anyways. Then it says close the markup balloon. So if you need to, click on it again. Click before the word although in the sentence in the first body paragraph begins although racked with guilt so right after that comment balloon I'm clicking before the word although in the sentence 
And then it says here, type, she is too tender hearted to give up the Heron family to the hunter, period. And then press spacebar. So we basically added a sentence there. So we're exp giving more info on how that happened. All right, then it says click the first comment on page one. So I'm going up here to this comment, click on it to open it up. And it says point to the comment text and click reply. So mine shows reply already. Um, so you can click on that reply. And that gives you the option here to reply to them. And it says at the right side, the instructor's name is where the reply button will be. Mine was in the bottom right. It says check or type, please check my revisions. Period. And then close the comment. So I don't need to close it. Then save and close the document. So I'm going to choose save. And I'm going to choose file and close. Because we're still using Word. We're just not using that specific document. All right, step two on page 361. You are ready to finalize the paper. And your instructor, instructor has let you know that you must include an entry form with the submission. You are not on campus, so your instructor has emailed the entry form as a PDF document. You'll convert the form to Word and then complete with your name and report information. Then you'll save it as a PDF document for later submission. Refer to figure 4.20 as you complete step two. So step two here, click the file tab and choose open. This is step A. So file, open, I'm already on that. And it says, change the type of files. So actually, we click Browse. And it says, change the type of files to PDF files. So I don't actually want you to change that. Um, so you can skip that step, because we want to leave that. Um, go to where you save the file. So I'm going to go to the Downloads folder. The PDF, view, the PDF files will already display even without with it on all Word documents. So that's why I'm not having you change it. Over here, I have Word 4, hands on exercise 2, entry. So I'm clicking on that. I'm choosing to open it. And it says, click OK if it says conversion will take place, which mine is showing this. So it'll now convert PDF to an editable Word document. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to enable editing up here. And we've already said that's OK for converting. You may have to convert it twice, I guess. OK, it says click after the date. So there's our, the date. And it says type today's date. So for me, it's October 16th. It's about 9 o'clock here. Um, I'm typing in. So October 16th, 2018. This is step B. Complete the remaining information, including your name, instructor's name, college class, email, Blah, blah blah. So you're just gonna make these things up. I mean, you can put. I want you to put your name down, um, but you can put down um, fictional information. So I'm gonna put down Mr. Rogers as my sponsoring instructor. So the one that's dead. Um, choosing the college class. He was a senior. So I'll go with senior. University email. M Rogers at gmail.com so I'm making this stuff up here and report title we're putting down an analysis of quotation marks a white heron quotation marks period so that's step B right there I'm gonna click save up here in the top oh actually I actually won't save it just yet excuse me then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the file tab and I'm going to choose export so file and then export so it's down here right above close export then it says click create PDF slash XPS document so right here my first option it may be different for you and then it said once you've done that it'll navigate it'll open up this file explorer window and you're going to navigate to where you want to save it so I'm going to save it to documents you would save it to your flash drive and it says we need to change the name here to adding underscore your last name and first name and ensure that open file after publishing is checked so right here under it open file after publishing we have this name right here and click publish
it's going to open it up so we can look at it. So you'll notice it's using Microsoft Edge to open up for me. It just depends on the program on your computer you have um, for opening it up. And it just has all the stuff I put in here for it. So um, we're going to close the document after the PDF version of the form is displayed. And then it says close the Word version of the entry form without saving it. You will submit the PDF file to your instructor at the end of this exercise. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to close this one right here. So file close, and then I'm going to open back up. So don't save it. Then I'm going to open back up the file we were working on earlier. So Word Chapter Four, Hands-On Exercise Two, White Heron, and then my name. Okay, that's part of step A. So we're at step three here. Uh, use track changes and accept and reject changes. So you re are ready to submit the paper, but first you must accept or reject changes and remove all comments. So we're going to look at how to do that. So I've opened it up. I click the review tab. This is part of the review process, the review tab. And I click all markup. So I go to over here to where it says simple. I choose all markup. And then it says step B, click anywhere in the sentence you added on the first page. So click anywhere in the sentence you added on the first page. So right here, that's the sentence I added. And then it says, click the reject arrow in the changes group. So over here, changes group, I click on the reject arrow, and then I choose reject change. So that wonderful sentence we typed is gone. <laughs> then step C, click the accept arrow and choose accept all changes and stop tracking, which deletes or should delete, excuse me, all comments. What you may need to do, um, if that doesn't work, which for some reason with mine, it looks like um, I have to select them first. Let's do this. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. So, um, what you may need to do, hang on, let's see here. Mine is a little bit different from the book here. Um, I'm just going through and clicking resolve. So it looks like it's getting rid of the comments that way. Um, otherwise, it looks like it got those changes. So if for some reason yours doesn't go away, like I said, this has been updated a little bit since the book came out. Um, I did accept all changes and stop tracking and then I actually had to go through and either click um, on resolve or you could do next and previous and do them one at a time if for some reason um, that doesn't work. I can also go through um, here and delete all the comments in the document too. So um, actually let's do that as well. So delete all comments and get rid of it that way. So uh, yeah, let's go with that. If it didn't work, come over here to the comments group and delete that way. Anyways, um, you can see here there's been a lot of changes with how it works with the review part and also with the citation part. So thanks for bearing with that as we have to make adjustments while I'm recording um, the video. So you're gonna submit the two files. There's this one right here. You'll notice all the comments are gone with it. Um, but you do have one change you made and then you do need to submit that PDF file um, that you opened up the one that was the entry um, comment so submit those two files and that is how you complete Word Chapter 4 hands-on exercise number two